Okay, I am just watching a track that I recorded earlier, but I uh, thought I'd narrate over the track so I can give you uh, the different views and stuff of what's actually going on, rather than you watching me going through a boring startup sequence. I am going to edit this uh, to skip some of the uh, more tedious parts, but essentially my whole point of this video is to show you what DCS 1.5 looks like, how pretty it is, I'm running this on a fairly beefy 5930K processor with the GTX 980 Ti. Everything's set to maximum, although I am only using a 1080p monitor, so that is probably my bottleneck. Uh, just switching to the uh, external views here, uh, you can see that the new version of DCS has got this very nice depth of field effect. which kind of makes the whole thing look so much prettier. Now I am going to do some editing, but uh, I'm going to skip ahead now through the startup sequence to when I actually start rolling. And already I think you're getting a feel for just how much more cinematic and attractive the game looks. I've got uh, trees and everything else set to maximum as well. Great thing about recording videos and then using track is you can kind of uh, look around the cockpit and not really have to worry about where you're flying because you've already worried about that during the uh, actual recording process. It's one of the nice things about shadow play. If you are using shadow play and you've had difficulty in getting your videos to record, you have to make sure that you uh, hit Alt and Enter uh, before you press Alt F9, um, otherwise it doesn't record anything. I've also noticed that it's a bit unpredictable when you are in multiplayer, but I have managed to record some multiplayer stuff. Although I can't use it because essentially everyone was telling really, really rude and offensive jokes. Um, so I might uh, show that video again, but edit the sound. And here we go. I don't know why I bothered uh, loading a ton of munitions on because I'm not going to be shooting at anything. Here we go. Starting to take off. Here we go. Gear up. And now we can just have a look around at all the pretty, pretty. Uh, I don't have to worry about flying the aircraft because I'm already doing it. I'm essentially just going to fly a series of uh, circuits around the airfield, gaining altitude so we can get up to cloud level and have a look at the cloud effects and see the uh, sunlight as it shines through the clouds. So there you can see the uh, airfield there down on the left and uh, I can just lean out and have a look. I'm using track IR here and the feeling of immersion is just incredible. I almost feel like I need to put a pair of sunglasses on. I 
I'll see if I can just turn my head to look left at the camera. And there you can see me looking out the window. <laughs> get a feeling of space both inside and outside the cockpit and you know a sensation that there is actually a real canopy around you with the reflection sun again. Try and do a couple of print screens here. Lovely. Still gaining altitude. I think I'm going to take it up to around about 10 or 11,000 feet and then I level out so I can essentially fly through the clouds and give you an indication of what it's actually like to uh, see those uh, cloud effects up close. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not far off, is it? Technology has come a long way in the last few years. I'm just getting locked up by something. There's been a missile launch. I don't really uh, react very quickly to that. I don't know what frame rate I'm getting here, but it's got to be over 60. Um, my monitor can only do 60 hertz, so occasionally I've been seeing a little bit of screen tearing. The monitor is my bottleneck, but it is silky smooth. No excuse for this poor landing, but uh, hey, who cares? I guess I'm just going a little bit fast on the approach, causes me a few problems. 
when it comes to flare out. It's not my worst landing ever. And that's about it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, hopefully I'll have edited out all the terrible bits. And uh, if you haven't already got a copy of DCS A10C, go out and get one. If you haven't uploaded 1.5 yet, go and do it. It's absolutely beautiful and awesome. Thanks very much everybody for watching. I will see you on my next video.